Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I want to thank the gentlelady from North Carolina uh, for her leadership uh, consistently in this House for common sense. And uh, I'm glad that uh, she understands agriculture like some of us uh, in the West do as well. I want to talk today uh, about the rule and the rules of this House. Um, as my colleague from California said pretty clearly, for too long uh, we have not had a process that has been followed in this House, regardless of who was in control of this House, to make sure that the people and the press and we politicians have a chance to read the bills before they are voted on. Consistently, um, when the will of the majority has been exercised, we have waived the House rules of the 72-hour requirement. We need to change that. And we can do it on a bipartisan basis. My colleague, Mr. Baird, and my colleague, Mr. Culbertson, have legislation, HRS 554. It was introduced in June to change the House rules, to require 72 hours for bills like this, the so-called stimulus, to be put on the Internet for the people the press, the public, people affected, and us to actually read them. Now, this bill was 1,073 pages. It cost $787 billion, and we were allowed 12 hours to consider it. This legislation is the uh, National Energy Tax Cap and Trade Bill, 1,420 pages, 16 and a half hours to review and it cost $846 billion. Now, this House recently passed a uh, resolution saying that on the Ag Appropriations Conference report, the issue before us at the moment, that we should have 72 hours to consider it before it is voted on. That hasn't always been the case on all these rules. As I mentioned, on the national energy tax, on the uh, stimulus, even the health care bill before it came to the Energy and Commerce Committee, 1,026 pages. We had 14 hours and 43 minutes to consider. Now, you know, it's kind of interesting if you go back to the beginning of our country, and I just put it in comparison, the Declaration of Independence, same typeface size, nine pages, four days. The entire United States Constitution, 82 days, 24 pages. Bill of Rights, 57 days and three pages, and yet one-sixth of the economy were given what, 14 hours and 43 minutes for health care uh, in committee, 16 and a half hours for the national energy tax, 12 hours for the stimulus. It's time to change how our House operates. It's time for the Rules Committee to bring forward HRS 554. And since that doesn't appear to happen, that's why I filed the discharge petition number six to bring forward House Resolution 554 so that we can improve this process and gain some credibility with the folks back home who think we actually should have time to read these bills, that they should have time to read these bills, including bills like the Ag uh, Conference Report. Now, 182 members as of uh, yesterday have signed this petition. It only takes 218. Um, we have six Democrats who have signed it, and yet there are uh, 35 Democrats who have co-sponsored the underlying resolution, but have not signed the petition. And I know the Speaker has been supportive of this similar uh, process of the changing the House rules a couple of sessions ago. It is a bipartisan calling. It is difficult when you're in the majority to change the rules that affect, that affect how you operate. But isn't that what real reform is all about? It's saying, for once, we will stand up, we will listen to the people, we will change the rules, and we will have a more open and transparent process which should lead to better policy. And it is a wonderful antiseptic to a process that, may I have another 30 seconds or so? I yield the gentleman another 30 seconds. And, recognized. and it is a wonderful cleanser, if you will, to a process that, frankly, has lost most credibility among the people of America. You see, they think we should read the bills, and they think we ought to understand them. Moreover, they now, in this modern age of Internet communications, believe we should post them on the Internet so that they, so that the public, the taxpayers, the people writing the, the, pay, writing the checks to pay for this government, can have an understanding of what's in there. So I would encourage my colleagues to vote uh, against the previous question and to allow us to move forward on reform and transparency in this House, and I yield back.